I ask Coach Beeline to make an opening statement, then go to questions uh, for Spike and Zach. Coach? Well, I see if anybody, uh, was, if you're watching this game, you see how talented uh, Wisconsin is. They got a great game plan, uh, but their size, uh, their age, their strength was a huge part in the game. Uh, they got so many second chance points that it's really a 50-50 ball many times around the rim, and they're just longer and stronger and more experienced than us in some of those situations. And that was really a key to their victory today as getting extra opportunities. So proud of our kids, however, because uh, we shoot 50% from the floor, 40% from the three-point line, and, uh, and, uh, but can't get a W. And as they played their tails off, and they lost to, uh, certainly today, a better team. Question of student athletes? Don't be bashful. Okay, back in the back. Spike, you guys have played these guys really tough in, in both times you've seen them. And just kind of what is it that you guys are feeling when you're going up against a, a team of that caliber and, and a team that you guys can handle pretty well? Um, they're a really good team, you know, extremely um, experienced, senior laden. Um, but I think the one thing we do well against them is, is we take care of the ball and we can make shots because they force you to hit tough twos and, and wall layups. And those are things that we, we work on every day in practice. Um, and I think we executed our offense extremely well today and made shots when we needed to. Um, we just didn't get the stops. Stay in the back. For both of you guys, you, you want to keep playing? You excited to keep playing this season? You feel like you've maybe unlocked something here and you know have a chance to keep playing well? Zach, start with you, please. Yeah, I would love to keep playing with these guys. I think especially these last five games are really starting to come together. You know, we've had to fight through a lot of adversity this year. I'm just proud of how we stay connected and just hopefully we can keep it going as a, for the rest of our season. Spike? Yeah, just piggybacking off of Zach. Um, I think we're really starting to kind of gel out there. You know, it took us a while. It's been a process with so many young guys. Um, but these past couple of weeks, I really think we're starting to figure it out. Um, you know, and I, I definitely don't want to, you know, the season to end. And I'd like to finish with a, a winning record for sure. Other questions for the two student athletes? All right, fellas, you may go back to the locker room. Thank you. Question for Coach Beeline. Right here in front. Coach, in a lot of these uh, conference games, there's been a stretch where you've gone a while without a field goal. But today, it looked like it was a lot more consistent scoring throughout. What was uh, the key that kept you guys? I, I think scoring? that you know our kids are getting more and more comfortable uh, with making shots in difficult situations. Just watching uh, Zach Irvin grow here is being able to, to make, have an in-between game and not just be a three-point shooter. Aubrey Dawkins, you know, <clears throat> Spike in the first half was really good. And then uh, we just seemed to find an answer. We just couldn't stop them. That was the big issue today. And that's, that's you can be on the other end of these, some of these teams with Wisconsin where you are, uh, it's, this final score is like 70 to 40. Uh, because they just get away from you with their defense. So really proud that we're able to score that many points, shoot 50%, and uh, get some threes to go down as well. Other questions for Coach Beeline? Right in the back. John, if you're invited to a postseason tournament, will you accept? To the NIT. We would go to the N okay. NIT. We're, we're not interested in any other tournament. Uh, it's an NCAA tournament. It's, it's uh, it's one that I've fortunately been involved with several times. Uh, two, of, two of our teams uh, went to Madison Square Garden. One won the national championship, which uh, won the NIT championship. And Bob Huggins then took that same team and did a great job with them and took them to the Final Four. So it's some, many times this type of opportunity is a precursor to, uh, to future teams. And so if we can get that opportunity in the NIT, we would gladly accept it. Stay down there. Coach, you mentioned Zach and his performance today. I mean, what was it like to see him not only get the big point total, but also get a bunch of rebounds, get some assists? Yeah, too? and no, we, you're all watching what, what we've been, uh, he's been working at, uh, our coaches have been coaching, and, and he's such a really, he's a, he's a, coaches are only good as their students, and he's a tremendous student of the game. He's learning more and more about it, and uh, it's showing every day for us. So the 11 rebounds, I, I, I'll tell you a story. Last fall or last spring we were done and we were just playing pickup. 
and I was just saying, get, just go get a rebound. He didn't have any, hardly any rebounds last year. Just go get a rebound in this scrimmage. You got one. All right, go get another one. You got another one. And I said, so all you got to do is just go in there. You got a nose for it. You can do it. And 11 rebounds today, uh, double-double for him in that area with, with the assists he's had. This is big, uh, big steps for him. Stay in the back. Yeah, Coach, was uh, Walton available today, or was it decided beforehand that uh, he was a no-go? Uh, he was avail If he was available, he would have played. Yeah, it, we, we just, we've been waiting for him to come into a locker room and say, uh, Coach, I'm at 100%, and he couldn't do that. He's still in some pain. So I'm not, we're not going to play him with, with pain just from the standpoint that we don't think he's going to be as effective with, that, with, with the pain. And that's the way it's been for at least the last couple of weeks. There's the first three or four weeks we didn't do anything with him. But he's been trying to practice with us. He can't go through a full practice. Take one last one right down in front. Coach, even in all the adversity and disappointment that uh, you guys have fought through this year, how big is it for you to see Zach and Muhammad and Aubrey grow in the last couple of months as much as they have? Yeah, and, and I wouldn't, you know, we, we sort of try to roll with the cars that are dealt us, and so it's not like disappointing. It's just, it's the job to just get better, and you, you, you know, you, you, you have to formulate a plan, and then you just grow from it. So we didn't wallow in this. Uh, we just continued to just work really hard, and, and that's the, if you, if you try to, and hard as it is, it's hard for me personally to see that, person, that, that silver lining in it. It's great to see these types of things, and that's those small victories. It may not be in, in, a, in a win, but in a particular uh, action that they read or, or do. Those are the victories we've been looking for as well. Coach, thanks very much. Thanks,